experience fighting in the UFC? What you expected? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I mean, I feel like the same pressure. I think no matter where I fight, you know, it's always like the pressure I put on myself to fight, and uh, the stage never bothered me. It's always the same nerves. I mean, obviously, I'm thrilled to be here, and uh, you know, there's no place I'd rather fight. So, but I, don't, I knew Jorgen would be a super tough, tough guy, and, and give me trouble, uh, you know, everywhere. So. Uh, but I was ready. Came off of a good fight, and uh, it just felt ready. So your left hand was landing at will. You seemed to get a little bit more comfortable with it as the fight progressed. Uh, how much was that a factor for you in the win? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that was very important that, uh, that I landed that and, and you know hurt him with it, and and definitely could keep him off of me when I needed to. And uh, you know, it started to make him more desperate, which uh, I tried to exploit with with takedowns. But he's got very strong hips. He stuffed a lot of my takedowns. So. Uh, uh, but you know that was probably the key factor in me me winning the fight. So. Your UFC property now, but you have a Bellator belt uh, at home on your mantle. A any pride uh, as a former Bellator fighter to come into the UFC and get a win? I mean, I'm not carrying the Bellator banner or anything. You know, uh, that's just uh, you know the promotion that gave me my start when I was uh, you know trying to make it into uh, you know televised MMA and really be able to support myself fighting. So you know they gave me the shot and I I, I won the bantamweight title, but. Uh, you know, no, I didn't feel pressure to represent Bellator or feel like I'm the Bellator guy in here. You know, I'm just representing me and my teams and everybody who helps me, and, and, and that's it. So. On paper, uh, a guy like Jorgensen, you guys both come from wrestling backgrounds. Scrambles tend to be uh, a big thing in uh, wrestler versus wrestler matchups. How yeah. important was it for you to land up on top in some of the scrambles tonight? Yeah, I mean, that was the goal. I mean, um, I didn't want to let him out scramble me. I thought I had a speed advantage, so I wanted to kind of beat him in the scrambles uh, just with quickness, uh, you know, but he's very strong, an experienced wrestler, uh, so it was tough. I thought his clinch would be where I think he's the best at, you know, whether he's uh, taking you down or breaking off to throw strikes, I felt like that's where he's really dangerous. So I wanted to kind of break out of the clinch as much as possible. Uh, got a little too lazy in there a couple times, let him hold it too long. Uh, he got me down out of the clinch. I think I got right back up, but, uh, you know, I tried to win as many of the scrambles as I could, so. You were all over the place with him tonight. Um, when when fights go in multiple aspects of mixed martial arts, sometimes the judges can get lost. Were you confident that this decision was yours, though, uh, in the eyes of the judges? You know what? Anytime I'm in a fight, I really have no idea what it looks like. Um, uh, I, I usually ask my corner after every round, even if it's like a fairly one-sided round, uh, did I win that fight? Like it's, it's just like a big blur to me. Um, honestly, how I felt in the fight, I felt I won the first round. Uh, and then I thought the second and third were close because we exchanged positions and uh, I couldn't really tell. You know, my corner was confident I won the fight. I, I trust them. So, uh, you know, but, you know, it's really a blur. I'd be happy to answer more honestly after I saw the fight. So. Being that you just fought over in RFA about, what, a month ago, was it hard for you to make the weight cut for this? It was actually much easier this time. My weight cut in RFA was pretty hard. And, uh, yeah, it was three weeks ago in a day. And uh, right after the fight was Thanksgiving. So I was eating a lot, but I never stopped training. So when I got the call, I went. I wasn't looking at the scale. I was like, I'm not looking at the scale for a while. It's Thanksgiving, I want to eat. Uh, so I got the call, and I'm like, oh my god, I have no idea what I weigh. But I was much later than I thought. I was only like 141. So everything everything worked out very well. So. You're a flyweight in the UFC. Do you ever see going back up to uh, bantamweight and competing here under that uh, weight division? I highly doubt it. Uh, you know, I think the last last three guys I fought at 135 walk around over 165. I'm usually under 145, so uh, you know, I, I think that's really where I belong. You know, everybody's cutting more weight and getting better at it, so uh, this is definitely uh, the weight class I belong in. I think. Any goals that you have for 2014 as a UFC fighter? Uh, yeah, I just want to keep improving, uh, uh, get some more fights, and you know, it's kind of been like my ultimate goal to fight in the UFC and, and get that experience. But I think that's only kind of like step one. Uh, step two is to uh, make a run at the title and you know, stay here as long as I can. Hopefully, get hopefully get that title one day. So. Any particular like, 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 like,